What's going on my friends? Welcome back to another retro repaint video. In the video today, we're going to be attacking the Mattel Electronic Roarvor Pteranodon, turning it into the old school blue Kenner Pteranodon. This is a very, very simple paint job to do, one that you could probably do at home. I'm going to be using the airbrush on this Pteranodon, but of course, if you don't have an airbrush, you can do all of this by hand with a regular paintbrush. So, we're going to go ahead and get started here. Of course, it's business as usual. We're going to start priming the Pteranodon with a little bit of white paint from Createx. Now, the electronics in this Pteranodon are broken, so uh, I'm not really worried about paint getting down into the speaker or anything like that. Um, but, you know, I've never had any issue with paint getting down into any of the electronic ones that I've painted. So, uh, you know, but always with the electronics, if you still want them to work, always use caution when painting around the electronic components. All right, the priming is done and out of the way. We're going to go at it here with two colors. We're going to be taking some fluorescent blue and a little bit of white, mixing them together to get that robin egg blue color, you know, real light sky blue. And I'm going to put it in the pot, mix it together and then attack the head here with this light blue color. All right, so we've got the light blue done and out of the way. Now we're going in with some neutral gray in the airbrush pot and I'm adding just a slight tiny drop of blue to it just to give that gray a very dark blue hint you can see here matches it just a little bit better than the neutral gray on its own so I'm gonna uh, give it a little uh, mix here in the pot a little backflow just to make sure everything is mixed well and then we're gonna go at these wings Okay, so now I'm going into the eye socket here with a little darker shade of blue. This is just the fluorescent blue that I used without the white. And I'm just darkening up the eye sockets just a bit to give it a little character. And then I'm going in with a tiny little drop of red to get that red pupil in there. This is the hold your breath time. Because you don't want to get red all over that nice pretty blue you just did. Boom, there you go. Nice and menacing looking looking sharp okay so now moving over here to the claws and the claws on the pteranodon or the kenner one are not painted so i'm actually just painting these claws uh the neutral dark gray color that i used without the blue again you know a lot of the kenner claws aren't painted so we kind of have to use uh, some creative licensing when it comes to this so you can either paint them or not but they look really good painted uh, so i don't want to leave them unpainted and have it look unfinished so, like I said, just doing a little, a uh, couple coats of the dark gray. Now we're flipping it over to the bottom of the belly here. And we're going to be using just a light gray for that. And this is from the Vallejo Model Air. And basically just going over the body and uh, applying the light gray. All right, and to finish the Pteranodon up here, I'm going to paint the tongue with some light mocha with a drop of red added to it for warmth. I'm going to let this dry and then seal it up with some satin varnish to protect all that pretty paint that we just put on this thing. So this was a very easy repaint to do, and I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you are doing these retro repaints, remember to tag me over on Instagram and use the hashtag retro repaints that I have set up. I always follow that tag. Looking forward to seeing what you guys can come up with with some really cool retro repaints. If you want more Jurassic Park related content, you all know where to find me. Links will be in the description box below. You guys take care, and I will see you in the next video.